Hello everyone. Welcome to Ask Iitin's YouTube channel. So today we have with us Anirudh, All India Rank 202 in JE Advanced 2023 exam, which I am proud to say is also the best rank so far produced in the history of Middle East in the JE exam. So hi Anirudh, how are you? Hi ma'am, fine. How are you? I'm good. So Anirudh, can you please tell our viewers something about yourself? Uh, my name is Anirudh. I hail from Kerala in India. I am a resident of Bahrain, a small island nation in the Middle East. Uh, I secured All India Rank 202 in JE Advanced, 417 in JE Main, and 99.2 percentage in CBSE board exams for 12th grade. And that makes me the country topper for my boards. So, a lot of achievements, I must say. That's great. So, Anirudh, I think you have enrolled with Ask Kaya Team for your JE preparation journey. So, how was your journey so far with us? I started my journey with Ask Kaya Teams in 11th grade, which was in 2021. Initially, it was a bit rocky because I had to adapt to that JE mode of studies and preparation, the higher level of questions than CBSE. But eventually, with the help of my teachers, my mentors, and my and the very helpful faculty here, I was able to get into the J main sort of pace in my eleventh grade and J at once in my twelfth grade. By my twelfth grade, I was pretty fine with the preparation, speed, difficulty, everything. And towards the end, we had constant support throughout the year. Teachers were constantly checking in on our progress. We could ask them doubts and clear up anything we had, any sort of confusion, any sort of issues. And towards the end, November, December, January, we have had mock papers, a lot of mock papers. Even after J mains, we had continuous support. So I was really helped by my mentor faculty, Deepak sir, along with my other teachers who held special classes for us for advanced. And now, even after my results, my teachers are still there with me for counseling, the choosing careers, choosing courses, branches, colleges. So it's like we are part of this aspiration family, and. We are not gonna let go. That's great. So we have seen a lot of students who struggle to cope with school as well as this competitive exam scoring. But as an exception, you managed to score ninety nine point two percent even in your board exam as well, and that actually made you the country topper also. So can you tell us how did you manage the preparation of both both exam as well as the J preparation simultaneously? Uh, the J syllabus actually covers our board exam syllabus, except for maybe English and your extra whatever subject you take. So English is an easy subject as everyone says. For physics, chemistry, and mathematics, J syllabus itself covers covers and goes above what is taught for board exams. So if we prepare for J, we are also preparing for board exams. Ultimately, the only difference is the kind of questions we get. Because board asks us descriptive answers, give reason kind of questions, whereas J asks more objective, calculative, little higher level application kind of questions. So if we learn the base, it's just about delivering it in a different way, adapting our answers to the type of the exam. If we do that, I think it's fine. All right, good to know. So during this preparation journey, we actually came across a lot of students who went into this panic mode for the preparation. So, did you also face any lows during your preparation? And if you do, how did you overcome those? Uh, I didn't really go into a panic mode at any stage of my preparation. I could keep my calm, but there were points when I did go a bit low. For instance, when I was studying organic chemistry, organic chemistry is an entirely new topic for us, which we go into depth in twelfth grade, and I was really not able to understand it. So, I was able to take one-on-one -on -one sessions with you. With you, Kajal, man, and that really helped me shore up my organic skills. Similarly, there was an eleventh grade topic called rigid body dynamics, which I wasn't able to understand really well. So I took one-on-one -on -one, uh, DRS sessions with my physics faculty, Shansa, and he really helped me with that as well. And whenever I felt a little off color, I had my mentor faculty, Vivek, there to encourage me, motivate me, and he really built me up, pushed me throughout the. Uh, preparation, telling me that I can get under one thousand rank, a three-digit rank, and it was his motivation that drove me a lot. Okay, so ultimately we can say that his prediction came out to be true with 
flying colors definitely and we all are proud to be have a student like you definitely so can you tell us on that what was that one moment in which you actually decided that you want to prepare for this JE exam when i joined for JE preparation in 11th grade the only thing i was aware about JE was that it's an admission test to colleges i didn't really know much more about it and even when i was studying initially it was a bit rocky like i said so i wasn't that motivated or encouraged to study for JE till i met my mentor faculty the works and he really motivated me for four or five months he was constantly telling me that you can do JE mains you can do JE at once and that's how i really got into that mode of preparation for JE at once especially in my 12th grade because if he has so much expectation in me he has so much faith in me i should have some faith in myself and that really pushed me that told me that i can do this and that's when i really got into that zone perfect and i must say that self confidence must have helped you a lot in improving from your yes, jee that m1 and to jee mains that m2 so can you also want to highlight that journey uh, oh yeah in my jee main first attempt i scored only 197 on 300 whereas j at once which was held to two months later with board exams in between in those two months i was able to shore up my self confidence in such a way that i was able to score 276 on 300 in my second attempt and that created a rank difference of around 3500 to 470 so the difference between these two exams was not the level of preparation it was the self confidence i believe self confidence comes from having a positive mind having good teachers to motivate you and doing lots and lots of test papers to really build up that self confidence so that also makes a huge difference and i understood it the through my actual experience of these exams perfect so definitely you can be the best example for students who feel that if i'm not able to perform well in the first attempt how will i able to do well even when we have the additional stress or i would say of both exams so definitely your journey will definitely is motivating them especially the students who are watching and who are also preparing for this exam for the coming years so it's like definitely you proved it that if you are not able to achieve something in the first attempt you have to push yourself a bit harder and ultimately you will reach your goal so that's perfect so can you tell us what do you think was the best part of ask iit in so far for you which helped you in your preparation journey uh ask iitians doesn't encourage unhealthy competition and doesn't unnecessarily pressure students So because of this lack of undue pressure we are able to keep our calm and cool we can we are just accountable to ourselves it's not like we have pressure from parents or teachers to study too hard and that's a really good thing because it maintains a positive atmosphere and moreover our teachers are always there to support us they can we can even arrange one on one dr sessions we can ask them doubts on whatsapp we can we can really ask for their help anytime we want and they are there to help us especially because our teachers are young it's not, not like you need 10 15 20 years experienced teachers to teach you my teachers are all young but they are also very motivated energetic individuals who are really in touch with the subject and the exam so they were also there with me all the while to help so that was also a good thing about us guys perfect definitely we cannot underestimate the importance of that personal touch during this preparation journey and definitely that must have helped you as well so that's good to know so just one last question from my end so what is that advice that you need to or that you want to give to the future jee or neet aspirants uh one piece of advice that i would like to give is that you should enjoy the process because jee is not just about the final admission exam it's a whole process that teaches you to work hard and really enjoy what you're doing if you enjoy what you're doing it's going to help you a lot because then it won't look like a burden for you another thing is you need to do a lot of mock papers if you need to develop your self confidence so that's something that we may not take very seriously but it helped me a lot like i said between my first attempt and my second attempt so that's needed a lot third is you will find lots of people suggest lots of different books for your exam HC Verma for, for physics is like considered its gold, its base. You say that you will hear people say you need I Erdo for sure if you need under 500 in J advanced. 
OP 10 in for chemistry. You will find lots of standard books that people mention. In my case, I relied only on my Ask Gaiashan's modules and an extra textbook called Organic Chemistry by Jonathan Clayton. So apart from that, I didn't rely on any of these mainstream books. I feel like if you go after too many books, they will just burden you. You should stick to what your coaching gives you. The mat that material will be sufficient for you to score a really good rank. So if you run after two hairs, you will catch nine hairs. It's best to stay with what you have. Perfect. So you are actually breaking the myth that these are some of the books that must be there in the study table or on top of the study table of everyday aspirants. So yes, we definitely can use this piece of advice, especially the students who will be preparing for the journey onwards. So thank you so much for your time with us, Anirudh. And we definitely are sure that you keep on making us proud. You have a very bright future ahead of you. And we definitely are there to help you in your forward journey as well. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you.